All right, here's a quick video on um, a text issue you might run into with hyphens, otherwise referred to as dashes, and n dashes and m dashes. So what I wanted to do is I, I, I wanted to strip out this leading text here, and I just wanted to show overview, gathering materials, etc. And so I typed a quick mid function. I'm going to start here, and and uh, looks like there's a dash there, right? So I want to start wherever the dash is. Um, and then I want to just get the text after it, all right? So I want to start looking for that in the first character. Once I find the dash, I actually want to move forward uh, two characters, right? Because the dash and the space find function will return the integer um, character number, right? And where it found it. So I'm going to do a plus two, right? And then I just want to return everything after that. I know that Excel can only hold a thousand characters. And so as long as I say return thousand characters, it will just return whatever's left. But I get an error, which is strange because my my eyeballs say, well, there's a dash there, right? What's wrong with it? But then note that this this uh, dash here, let me turn this on again. This dash is not the same size as that dash in terms of width. So what's going on is um, if I drag this down one, you'll see the, the formula does work here and it works on a few of these, but not all of them. So you say, well, what's going on? So here's, here's where I see this most. Um, the difference is you're dealing with a hyphen an n dash, and I've also learned from this handy site over here that there's also this thing called an m dash. So a hyphen is what's on your keyboard up at the top right by your backspace button up near the plus and the equal sign. An n dash, I, I can create one in Word. I, I, I haven't seen this before, this is new. An m dash, and this, in uh, this site, according to the site, it says that an n dash is the width of an n, and an m dash, a little bit wider, is the width of an m. So Here's where I usually see this occur. If you type some, some random text in Word and you type a space dash hyphen space, watch what happens to that dash after I type the next word. So I say whatever space bar, and then that turns into a wider dash, right? So if you go back to Excel, you see that there is a wider one here and then a narrow one and then a wide one, wide one. So here's what's going on. In Excel, you can, um, you can insert special values, right? So if I type a dash here, that's the one on your keyboard. Oops, uh, I have to do it this way. Actually, I can do that, all right. Um, and then what I wanna do is over here, I'm gonna go to the insert symbols and under normal text. So if you click this one uh, and, you, and you show the ASCII, you show that that's character code 45 and it calls it a hyphen or minus sign. Over here, it calls it an N dash and it says that the code is 150. And here it calls it an M dash. So I can insert this, all right, and I can then go over, that's strange. Um, that didn't work out well, huh. let me try that again. Insert this, okay, that's fine, wanted in text. So I'm just gonna wrap it in quotes, totally cool. I'll do the same thing here just for uh, consistency. And then over here, I'm gonna do the same, insert the M dash, all right, Yes, and so then what I can do is I can type code. Code is the Excel function to return the ASCII value. And if I say code here, so that shows me that, that the code of that character, yes, and then that shows me this. So that shows me that these characters, although our human brains interpret them roughly the same, the computer thinks they are very different values. So then a trick that you can do is if you think you have this issue, and I've seen this issue in a number of other things over the years, and if you're trying to systematically cleanse all the text, what you can do is this, you can say, um, find this value and put an anchor on it. F4 is the keyboard shortcut. I want to anchor the row, find that value here in this text. And I want to anchor the column here. So it, it can't find the dash, right? But then if I drag this right, it does find it. So if it returns a number, it does. So, uh, now what I can do is I can drag this down and that will show me all of the places so now it shows me that there's an n dash in the first one, there's a hyphen in the second, an n dash in, in the third, et cetera. So I overwrote my previous one. So now what I've got is you could do something like this. So it, it, we, we, didn't, um, we didn't have any m dashes. So it looks like we only have a, um, a hyphen and an n dash. So probably the easiest way to do that is to say, let's just copy the whole formula. Let's, in, in front of this, let's put in the if error function. So if, if when you're trying to extract the text, you run into an error, then do this formula instead. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this hyphen um, to an n dash that I don't have right now. So hold on, let me go copy this guy. Uh, I'm going to copy.
copy this thing, go back to my formula, and paste it right here between the two quotes. So now, if it errors out finding a hyphen, it will try to find an end dash. And doing that gets me my cleanse text. There you have it. So that is um, a, a goofy nuance that our human brains think we're crazy because all these things look the same to us, but a computer interprets them as three different things, a hyphen, an end dash, and an M dash. So this is the width of an N, this is the width of an M. That's how it works. Hope that helps somebody.